Hey everybody and welcome to episode 69 of the Everything Challenge on No Man's Land in Farming Simulator. We've kind of done everything at this point. Our crops are in the ground. Sure, we've got some fertilization to do and stuff, but in general we've kind of done everything. So I thought we would actually celebrate by starting to go around and pick up all of our first items and put them into like a museum area. So let's jump across to our Santana track that's way up north. Here we have it. A very uh, Land Rover-esque thing. So my plan is to use this guy, go around and pick up everything and we'll put them on a collection of trailers. Because everything is going to be so disparate and across the land, I am going to use super strength for this. But uh, yeah, excuse the, uh, the laxness there. Let's uh, start where we are right now. We've got some, uh, what's this, uh, some oils. So we still need to get canola oil out of the three here, but we grabbed these two for starters. This one is, uh, which one's this one? Is this sunflower oil? Yeah, I can see the uh, sunflower icon. I think if we rotate these round, oh good, the, uh, the rain has stopped, that was very noisy. Uh, sunflower, and this is gonna be our olives, I believe. I'm trying to see an icon of an olive somewhere. Yeah, there's a little green thing on the side. Of course, the uh, the whole packet's green. Uh, over here is our potato chips. We've been making these via the uh, the oils. We get potato and uh, join the oil to it and uh, get them. So that kind of matches that we should put it on here with the uh, with the other ones. We'll leave this spot here for the canola oil. And since we're in this area, we'll pick up a cereal. Not really related to those, but we can uh, maybe transfer it onto a better trailer later. We'll kind of make it into groups, like production chains. In fact, yeah, I'll definitely put this one on a different trailer, I think. So we'll put the, uh, the cereal back here. So the cereal's made by corn, oats, um, honey, and, uh, and raisins. So that's kind of like four things. I'm still trying to work out a way to uh, palletize some of the things that are normally like a grain. This is our honey. Got a, a custom mod here that acts as the honey spawn point. And so it, uh, it means it's not on the ground as much. But uh, the honey goes with the cereal as uh, one of the crops. So yeah, so we need corn and uh, oats are going to be hard to represent. Maybe we need to buy them as bags. I'm not sure. But we can go find a pallet of raisins to go with that. I think that's the first trailer. So let's uh, jump into here. Start this guy up. We'll strap these down and see some very cool icons at the bottom right. Maybe at some point we'll put them all on one trailer. I don't know if there's a limit of how many icons can be shown. Like if we put one of everything on a semi, will it let us see like the 40 or 50 things or is there a, is there a limit? So where should we put these? I, I think somewhere near the original base would be kind of appropriate. Try not to uh, flip over here. Um, maybe by the shop. The shop, maybe not the worst idea. Uh, just park it up against the wall. Um, actually, I might do it over here with the, the root silo. Is. We can make us a row of them in here. We can make this a little, uh, yeah, a little display area. And actually, you know what? I'm actually make a specialized road for it. So let's jump into the construction menu. And let's use something that's kind of, wow, oh, maybe cobble. That's kind of cool. We'll make a special platform. Yeah, that's probably the most special thing that they've got. So we can make a, like a display area back here. Yeah, that looks cool. So let's, uh, I won't, I'll make it like it's a little private area. Won't necessarily be square. We'll probably need a fair bit of space, actually. So probably twice as wide as that. Treat it like like an old aeroplane museum type thing. And uh, we'll just back it onto there. Yeah, I think that... Actually, we'll go quite wide here, I think. In fact, to make it even more special, let's put down a light 
some nice fancy lights to to represent it. We've got these street light things. I don't know if that's really what we want, but let's put down a whole lot of those. Between episodes, I went and had fun for about, oh, about two hours and did a whole lot of lighting at night and a whole lot of making fences and stuff like that and I actually planted a whole lot of just standard trees just so we can uh, you know, enjoy the world. It was kind of like time for me just to enjoy what we've done. Uh, the other big thing I did is the what started the whole thing was we hit the pallet limit and I was absolutely sick of it so I went and picked up every single pallet that was hanging around and shoved it in that uh, uh, silo thing that's up north so uh, you'll notice that there's hardly anything hanging around now and actually that's what made me think about doing this in this episode because uh, I, I just noticed how many individual packets we've got packets pallets we've got uh, I don't think I'll worry about the order right now. You'll notice that our money is a lot healthier. Uh, we've definitely got past the point where money is a problem. I think we made six or seven hundred thousand dollars yesterday, which is huge. I tried changing this uh, uh, number plate a couple of episodes ago, more than that, 20 episodes ago, let's, let's actually get it fixed. Because I wanted to have, it's four letters and five letters. So let's customize that and get the um, number plate fixed. I'm gonna make it play and then every, that will be the second line. I think that will look okay. Customize, yes, it has changed. So now that, you see you get, you get the, uh, what's that, nine letters at the front, but now the four and the five works at the back. That's, that's way better. Turn around the uh, Toby Eye Tracker, using that uh, to look around the uh, cockpit. Haven't been using it much. Um, I don't know if I'll use it much in the next series. I think I'll actually uh, not enable it next series because it means that every single time that you um, I jump into vehicle, it starts in cabin view. Um, all right, so let's buy, uh, let's, let's, we'll change this one to play every as well. Okay, and so we look at that. I, sometimes they won't let you rotate. I don't know why, there it goes. Uh, Sometimes you use the mouse in that situation, it doesn't let you do it, and sometimes it does. Uh, I changed the wheel setup accident. So that's uh by uh, three. No, we've got by four. It's probably too many, but that's too, that's fine. Uh, the other thing I want to buy is actually the uh, the fuel tank. So this thing, if we go back, you can see here it takes fuel. Uh, I want to buy that. So. Uh, play everything. I think we'll stand it up. All that stuff's fine. Um, oh, uh, chunky and cool. Let's buy one of them as well. Spending a bit of money here. Well, she uh, fill this up first. My plan is to make it so that our farm is kind of independent. And so, last couple of episodes, we bought a seed and uh, fertilizer silos. And I kind of want to use this as a portable petrol pump so we don't have to keep on running up here to get it. Uh, so as such, I'm actually completely going to fill this up. This is taking forever. It literally has been about three minutes, but we finally got there. 3,750 litres. Uh, yeah, it literally was about three minutes to do that. That was quite a long time. I think we'll just leave this probably close to where the seeds and the uh, fertilizer are. Running down here. On our to-do list is to get rid of this um, uh, lumber mill to our right. Uh, I want to replace it with um, something to do with uh, a warehouse or something for our final push through the game. Uh, I think something like that would do for this. 
Alright, let's get another trailer. Alright, let's grab this one. I used to own one of these cars when I was a kid. Well, my parents used to own it. And I can tell you, it wasn't that sprightly. Uh, the, you know, it was obviously a model off a Land Rover. And, yeah, it's four little, four cylinder little engine. Probably barely had 100 horsepower. And I can tell you now that you really couldn't uh, zip around corners like that. So, let's grab uh, the traditional ones first. The astute viewer may have noticed that at some point I spawned out one of these out of each of the things and then I put it back out to selling. So I went to store mode for a little bit and then, um, yeah, then toggled it. So let's put strawberries there. Um, where's the next one? Next one will be the lettuce. I was thinking, I don't know if I've ever seen someone like on YouTube actually do this before. I don't know if I've actually ever seen someone put every single item um, in a world at the same time and like not just spawn it in, like have it as a real artifact of their gameplay. So this is our mushrooms. This is from No Man's Land. It's a special crop that comes with the map. Uh, we'll shove that probably at the back. Try not to uh, destroy that. And the last one, what's this one? This one's going to be uh, yeah, flowers. Now we're getting these onto it pretty easily, like in a six grid, like two by three. But some of the things are much bigger, like the bathtubs and some of the other wood products. So we may not be as efficient as this. So we've got the five uh, greenhouse ones. And then while we're at it, we'll shove the gold on here as well. A uh, bit of a waste of money having one of these sitting on the ground. Actually, how much is gold worth as a pallet? So it is a thousand pieces. So what is gold worth? I assume it's going to be in the thousands. Gold, yeah, $16,000, and that's a bad price. $17,000 when it's good. So, yeah, $16,000 right there in our hands that we're keeping uh, keeping from selling. Uh, I put that over the wheels on purpose because it's so heavy. All right. Let's... Oh, actually, we better strap them on. Oh, that looks cool. There's some graphics you don't see very often, especially the gold one. That's really cool. So mushrooms, flowers, lettuce, strawberries, and then tomatoes. My plan is to put down some mods going forward after we finish this harvest season, just to do some weird stuff. And particularly one of the things I'm gonna put down is an ice cream shop. And that has uh, strawberry and chocolate ice cream. So those strawberries will get used for that. So let's squeeze around here. Oh, I like this. I like this area, it looks good. So we'll put that one. Actually, I'm trying to straighten it up. I'm going to put the other trailer in between those two because, uh, yeah. So the oh, I can't see very well. These things right here. This is our uh, preserve factory stuff. The, on the left hand side is the suit factory from Premium, and we used to have the preserve factory to our right, right here, uh, where that field is. Uh, we actually ended up moving it up to our production area up north. So uh, that's why they're still hanging around there rather than being near the other factory. Let's go grab another trailer. Eee! Fang it around the corner. Those are poplar things. I'm not sure what to do with them. I thought I was able to... Whoops, went too far then. Uh, I thought I could go into the XML files and delete them, but I couldn't find them. Normally, uh, things like bales and all them are listed in the XML files, and you can just delete the row, and then it's gone. But I couldn't find the poplar um, in there. There must be models slightly different because they're a seed. Uh, I'm not sure about why that's the case. Let's uh, grab some of this Platinum Expansion stuff. We've got... What's this one? This is the uh, shingle factory, and this one is uh, the framing factory. So this thing's quite big, so I'll make sure I put it 
uh, at the front to keep the weight forward. And that's fine. And then where's our saved ones? Are they anywhere? Yeah, they are over here. Whew, I thought I uh, had mistakenly sold them. So we'll make a new row to represent the different uh, production. So that first one was, what was the other thing? This one is picture frames. And this one is oh, easels. So you can see like, it's kind of like a little chair, but they, uh, they come out. Okay, yeah. Uh, and from a, these ones are kind of obvious. These picture frames are kind of obvious. And then this is uh, shingles. Is that, I assume for roofing. Uh, why we're in the wood area, let's not pick up the grapes. Uh, we need to spawn out a grape juice. We haven't done that. So here's our quintessential raisins. I might move that around the corner just so it's overly clear that that's not been spawned. Uh, we've got three things on there. I don't know if the armoire, yeah, the armoire table and chairs are definitely not going to fit. So let's not do that. Over here we have our flooring factory, I think. Yep, flooring. And then to the left here is the furniture factory. This is the one you get in the base game, and this is in platinum. So let's get this furniture. Um, probably should have brought the car over. Run, run, run. Put this at the back as well. Just jump in the car and drive over there. We can do this with a bit of Toby track. High tracker action. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to have it turned on because every time you go into a vehicle, it ends up in this view and it's just a little bit annoying um, because I'm not really using it in this series. Um, because the problem is, if I do use it, it's very bobby and uh, it doesn't work very well. Uh, it's good for my eyesight, but it's not good for yours because my eyes are tracking around the screen but you aren't really. And so it means that you end up with this very move, movement orientated uh, view of the world. So yeah, I'll probably have it totally turned off next game. Um, do we have anything else that's wood related around here? Um, we've got the three from over there that are all big. I think that's it. So let's uh, treat that as a set. So then we get the icon for uh, the easel. Uh, the sh uh, what's it? The shingles, the planks, and flooring and easels. Uh, I kept on going down here, we, but we need the prior driveway, don't we? So let's see if I can squeeze this one next to here, and we'll start a wood area. All right, let's go get another trailer and I'll be right back here and we'll pick up those ones right there. You know, for a vehicle that traditionally in real life struggles to get to 75 kilometers per hour, this guy is doing a pretty good job getting to there. It is a little bit, uh, it is quite sprightly when you are in the game at least, rather than in real life. So that's the, what's that one? That would be the red beet soup, I think. So red beet preserve. Uh, this one will be... Actually, since there's uh, only going to be three of these, I'm going to put this the other way around. This one is, I think, carrots? No, this might be parsnips, because it's slightly yellow. And... Rotate this one. And then this is the carrots? Yeah, this is carrots. Alright, let's make these nice, nice, neat and tidy. Separate them out a bit. Okay. So this is the one I want to squeeze in that gap there because it relates to the premium stuff. So we'll try to squeeze that in there. Alright, flying down here, let's do some of the bakery goods. One thing I know that we don't have spawned out right now is flour. I don't know if the production has any in it that we can actually spawn out. I don't know if it's full or empty or what. Uh, 
uh, it's completely distributing. I'm going to change that to storing for a sec. And then we need to put uh, something through it and then get one spawned out so we have it. But we can pick up these things. So we've got our bread that comes from the flour. And we can pick up our cake. So cake's one of those ones that's very special because it just takes so much. It takes flour, eggs, the eggs come from the chickens, uh, strawberries from the greenhouses. Uh, it takes uh, butter from the dairy over there and milk, which are directly from the dairy or from the cows. So yeah, cake is one of those ones which is quite epic, you may say. It uh, definitely represents uh, a lot of progress. So we'll have uh, these three extra added and then what we'll be missing is flour. So we'll add flour to this one once it's ready. Uh, let's pick up, what's this one? This is the chocolate from the dairy. Uh, we can put that one at the back, I think. And then this is the butter. We'll put that at the back as well. We'll put the cheese at the back here. Well, actually, we'll put the uh, cheese on the close side. And then that flour can go at the back. Ooh, that balance is way off. So let's make sure that everything's at the front. You can see the weight uh, really pushing down there. Actually, for now, I think I might move this forward so that, and then the uh, the flower can be put on later. All right, it's the new icons. So that's the top one is butter, I think. Then the cake, then the chocolate. So chocolate is sugar and milk going into the dairy cheese and then the bottom one is bread scoot in here this time so I know we've still got one more uh, wood thing to do we've got all the uh, the bird stuff actually there's two or three to go still so we'll leave some space for those all right let's, I'm gonna have to go buy some more trailers so this buy I think I need Three more. All right, let me go pick one of those up and I'll see you at our next stop. All right, next stop, we'll make it this, uh, this uh, pet accessory area. So we've got the uh, bird boxes or bird houses. And we've got the dog house. Uh, a bit too far, there we go. And then we've got the cat tree. Uh, since this has only got three, we probably can put a couple more things on this. So that um, we could put hmm, something. What else is around here? Well, we could do the wool stuff. So wool, tailors, fabric, and then, yeah, we can do that. We can add those three to it. But still one of these. Doesn't really go together. Actually, it kind of does go together because the wool is used to make the uh, cat trees, I think it is. So that kind of makes sense. So we'll do that. I don't know if we've got any uh, clothing at the moment because we just sold them at their maximum in April. We'll put this, yeah, we'll put it next to its wool buddy at the back here. So I'll quickly run over here. I don't know if the, is it the tailor who makes clothing? I don't know if they've got any spawns yet. Oh, they do, they've got one. Actually, do we have a quintessential one stored somewhere? I don't think I actually, I think I sold it. Yeah, I think this is gonna be, this can be the quintessential one. So let's uh, grab that. Running over our cotton field here. It's quite an eclectic trailer, but it kind of makes sense because they are kind of related. I suppose we should have a trailer with all the different bales. You know, we should get one full of grass and hay and stuff. Yeah, so the top one is the fabric, then we've got the wool, then the clothing, cat trees, dog houses, and bird house, I think they called it. 
Try not to uh, roll over. Cut the corner here. Alright, so we'll put this one, because it's kind of related to wood in the middle here. I have to uh, straighten this up later and make it a little bit more accurate. That'll do. Alright. I think the next one is going to be up north, so uh, let me grab another trailer and I'll see you up north. Alright, what can we find? We've got our, like, barrel factory right here. That's going to give us a couple to choose from. So, yeah, I've got these saved over here. So we've got a bathtub. Let's put that probably at the front. I don't know if it's going to reach across. Is it too big? Yeah, it is. We'll have to go sideways. Kind of cool. Quite shallow, though. I don't know if I'd want to have a bath in that. It's a bit shallow for me. I'm uh, si over six feet. I'm six foot two, so... Yeah, definitely would need something slightly bigger than that for me. Uh, that's the... Buckets and then the barrel. So this required metal, so this might be a good opportunity to add metal to the trailer. Uh, because of that, let's put this guy at the back, and then we'll put the heavier stuff um, at the front. Actually, that's good that that fits. Yeah, we'll put a metal thing there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that's wood-related around here. I mean, there's the the saw mill itself, but that's different. Yeah, so we've got the this new... Oh, around there, let's go over there. There's a new production over there, but uh, because this one takes metal as an ingredient, Let's include a metal uh, slab on this. Hopefully there will be some. Uh, flour needs to get picked up. I think that's one of the very... Not flour, sorry. Uh, sugar. Um, I don't think... Do we have anything... This is where I put all of the excess stuff because of the pallet limit problems. Um, I don't know whether I put any metal in here. So I'm looking at the list on the right. See how it says others? 151? It doesn't give you the full list. Uh, which means getting stuff out of here is going to be problematic in the future. You, you're actually going to have to hit the trigger um, and then uh, pull it out. So we've done honey. We've done the preserves. We've done the potatoes. We've done the oils. We need to make canola oil in the future. We've got the cereal. So, we need uh, this one. This is one of our newest uh, productions. I don't think I can fit all three of those on, so we'll come back for those. But that's the bowls, the stair railings, and the pepper grinder. Uh, the other thing we need to pick up is the carton rolls. So, this is the big paper rolls. We do have a white one and a brown one, which is good. So, there's one trailer there, one trailer for the pepper grinder stuff and so it's two more trailers required and hopefully over here we can probably sneak around yeah there's some metal at the back here probably need to make the road back here a little bit deeper let's grab a metal roll or whatever it's called these are seriously hang uh, hangry uh, uh, heavy 1.3 tons so you can see the trailer definitely struggled with that weight yeah we need to uh put some roads around the back around this you can see there's lights everywhere now last night i went around and placed a whole lot basically where you uh, um, want a road, so across here I need to draw a road. And you can see there's lights over there that go towards that direction. I also want to put a road along this uh, edge here. Um, along the edge of this field right here, along this curve. Um, and join up to the road system that we have over here. I do find that I drive down this area a lot. And around here, and then join up to the main road. Next to there's some lights in this corner. Uh, I think this episode's going to run a little bit long. I think we're roughly at 30 minutes already. 
Uh, but hopefully you're enjoying it. Don't forget to uh, shove a like on it. It's not every day that you see all of the palletized uh, items in Farming Simulator in one place. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more series like this. This thing's series could probably got another 5 or 10 as we just play with weird mods. Uh, actually, since this is wood based, we'll put it in the middle. Um, so yeah, stay, definitely uh, subscribe if you want to see uh, a whole lot of other mods, uh, particularly like the fishing one and the polish corn thing and all these other things that we're going to produce pallets. And then when it comes to future series, um, we'll definitely always strive to do a whole lot. I'm just going to pick this guy up because he's not very happy. Had to do a quick fix on that trailer. It was uh, walking. The weight was at the back. And so I just moved the weight forward and that fixed that. All right, let's get two more trailers. All right, let's pick up some big paper cut and roll things. Flying along here. Hopefully we can get two onto a trailer. All right, we do have two, which is good news. Let's do the white one first. Um, Maybe if we turn it, I got a feeling this isn't going to fit. Yeah, so that's. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do. I think that'll be fine. All right. Strap those in. They don't hang off too much. I like how this production is in the trees, but it does make it a little bit unwieldy as far as navigation. Two big rolls delivered, and without flipping. Hopefully I don't jinx myself there. Wow, this pile's getting big. Feels like these... Ooh! Ah, I jinxed myself. There we go. I can't believe that actually happened. Alright, worked it out. Had to put one to the left, one to the right. That's definitely stabilized it now. Alright, we need to buy a couple more trailers. And let's go get another one. All right, let's grab some of these guys. These happen to be the initial three. So, uh, very fortitious. You know, we haven't actually made any more yet, and it's good that we've got all three of them. Uh, stair railings is an interesting choice of uh, something to make. I don't think I would have uh, thought of that out of this type of factory where it makes bowls and pepper grinders. I would have thought of some other kitchen product. Kind of weird. Let's also grab something else. Probably the sugar. We're missing flour and eggs. Come to mind. And then all of the products from the sawmill. I don't think we have them spawning right now. And we'll grab the flour. Put that. Oops. There we go. So now we have a pepper grinder. I keep on calling it flour when it's sugar. Sugar, bowl, and sterile. So let's go uh, deliver there. And we've arrived. It's starting to not make as much sense, the order, but that's fine. We can play with that later. All right, let's grab another trailer. We need to pick up some of the timber stuff now. All right, first things first, we need some short planks. And since this guy was where it all began, I think it's only Susie to actually have it come out of here. 
So we'll have to change the production to do that. So way at the top here, very one of the very first things we did, it's currently distributing. We can, uh, yeah, change that to storing. And then it's going to spawn out. We need to stop that again. You know, we're going to have too many of those, but that's fine. We'll uh, probably just shove them in a truck and sell them since we have so many. So that's the short planks. Let's drive forward. And we've saved the first prefab wall and um, what's it called? Uh, big wood beams right here. But we are still missing the long planks. We'll have to get that. Now, this is going to be very heavy. I should put this at the front. So, that can go at the back. This can go... It's probably going to take up a huge amount of this. Um, cool. That is... If it's going to be that big, it can be sideways big. I'm not sure how it's modelled at the bottom if it's... No, it's actually modelled as the actual wood. So it will sneak in. There we go. And then we've got the wood beams that probably also needs to go sideways. Yeah. We'll do it like that. Make this one come off this side to even out the weight. And then we'll bring that as forward as possible. And then we need a long plank. Make sure we strap that on. Right, let me run up to the northern uh, sawmill. This sawmill right here has no wood left in it at all, so it won't produce any. So let's wrap the northern sawmill. Go around the corner here, because it's going to spawn up here at one of these far things. And then we can shove it on the end. Alright, so... Mm, wood chips is the other thing. It would be good if we could put wood chips in a box. I think there is a way of doing that. So uh, let's change this trigger. So this is a relatively new sawmill. And we want... So we've got planks. So this one has two speeds, but they're the same thing. Uh, this is the one that we want to change. It's currently set to distribute. We're going to change that to storing. And then that will come out on the ground. We've already got wood beams and we've already got prefab walls. So we just need to run time forward. So we can watch that in the bottom right corner as we run the time. So hopefully we're not going to lose too much of the day by doing this. I assume it's going to pop out at 1,000. Uh, 3 o'clock. Oh, it's not 1 o'clock. It's not too bad. Hopefully we can get this by 2 or 3. Uh... So it was 1,000. It didn't. I didn't see it pop. Maybe they weigh more than a thousand. Oh, there it is. Cool. Okay. So let's change that back to distribute, and then we have our beautiful planks along. Um, this is kind of becoming a bit ridiculous. I think that's probably the best space for it. Um, yeah, no, do. And I believe sends the uh, eggs and a couple other things that we um, have kind of like spawning out the land, as in, you know, being consumed by other things. That's about it. So eggs and flour are all that I can think of that are missing. And then we need to work out how to represent all the other crops, uh, particularly like the hay and the straw and all that stuff. Well, they're just bales. We could just put bales on a trail. That's probably how we can finish this off. You know what? Since eggs is the only thing that's missing, let's just use this opportunity to use this trailer to go get it. So let me uh, run down here. We'll go to the end, turn right, go to the end and pick up an egg pallet. Alright. Luckily we've just got one there. Nice uh, block by the steel beam there. Alright. We'll grab an egg pallet and we'll move this onto another trailer, it's more appropriate. Uh, we can use this to transport it at least. 
Uh, at some point, we need to also work out how we can get grapes and olives as a raw product. That's the other one that I really want. There was a mod called the Palette Generator. I could have sworn that I had it downloaded and running, but I couldn't find it on my local hard drive. What it did was you put in a raw product and it turned it into a palette form of it. And so like if you put in grapes, you've got a palette of grapes out. Um, but I did a search for it on the internet, even in, in sites I normally wouldn't trust and couldn't find it. So yeah, if anybody knows of a mod name that will turn a raw product, so like wheat or barley or anything like that into a palette, uh, please put it in the comments and we'll uh, use that to finish off the collection. Try not to flip it. Looks like our area is just the right size. Ended up some really weird big ones at the end. Cool. Uh, I'm going to unstrap that temporarily. Get those eggs off. I think... <laughs> I'm getting stuck in the tree here. Um, where do we want eggs? I think something to do with food. So that one's going to have flour on it. That's all wood based. Maybe we should put it with... Hmm. I mean, it's kind of a bakery good. Maybe we should make one with the cereals and stuff. Um, but for now, while the, the uh, canola oil is missing, it can go there. All right. We'll uh, detach this. Hopefully that's not going to flip over. And we'll call that the end of an episode. Really enjoyable episode. I really enjoy going around and picking all those up. Uh, thank you, Lizard Santana mod. I'll put the name on the screen. Uh, that's, I love this mod. It's fun to drive and uh, it just looks great. Yeah, so here's all our trailers. Lots of lots to choose from. I do like the cereal one and the and the potato chips because that's all kind of new stuff. Uh, this premium stuff's okay, but it's a little bit boring because it's just cans. Uh, the OG stuff can't go past that. Uh, I think all the uh, the platinum expansion stuff with all the woods it's interesting and it's nice and diverse, but it doesn't really catch my eye. Something it's visually appealing. I love the cake. The cake's cool. That's a definitely a good uh, addition to the game, and I always can't go past the cheese and the bread. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Everything Challenge as harvest season is upon us. Uh, we've got to do a lot of fertilization first. Um, and uh, we'll start getting into adding more mods to the world and seeing what other products we can make. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Everything Challenge.